Solve each of the following double inequalities. Show your answers using the real line and interval notation. I'll start with A. We would like to find all the values of x such that x is greater than or equal to minus 2 and at the same time x is less than or equal to 2. The easiest way to solve a double inequality such as this one is to use the real line. Let's see what points satisfy the first condition which is they are greater than or equal to minus 2. Let's draw the real line. Let's say the 0 is here. Minus 2 would be somewhere around here and plus 2 should be somewhere around here on the right hand side of 0. Let's see what points satisfy the first condition. They are greater than or equal to minus 2. I am going to show all of these points with blue color. They are equal to minus 2 or greater than minus 2. It includes all of the points to the right side of minus 2. Now let's see what point satisfy the second condition, which is x less than or equal to 2. I'm going to show all of those points with a red color. They include 2 itself and all points less than 2. These are all the points on the left hand side of 2 on the real line, which are these points. Now we're looking for points which satisfy both of these conditions. They are both greater than minus 2 or equal to minus 2 and less than 2 or equal to 2. It is this AND which determines how we find the final answer. We are therefore looking for points which are both blue and red. We can see that minus 2 itself is painted both blue and red. The points on the right hand side of minus 2 are also pointed both blue and red up to 2. 2 itself is also pointed both blue and red. But the points after 2 are only labeled blue. So are the points before minus 2. Therefore, here is the solution for this problem. All of the points which are between minus 2 and 2, including minus 2 and 2 themselves, satisfy both of the conditions of the problem at the same time. These are points that they are both greater than or equal to minus 2 and less than or equal to 2. I can also show this solution using the interval notation. All of the points starting from and including minus 2 up to and including 2. Let's now look at question B. x is greater than or equal to minus 2 or x is less than or equal to 2. We note that the conditions are the same as part A of this problem, but they're combined using an OR rather than an AND, and that affects the final solution. To solve this double inequality, let's use the real line again. Let's find all of the points which satisfy the first condition. 
if this is 0, this is 2, and this is minus 2, these points would be all of the points starting from minus 2 to infinity. I am going to use the blue color to show all of these points. Starting and including minus 2 towards infinity. All of the points which are greater than or equal to minus 2. Now let's look at the second condition. All of the points which are equal to 2 or smaller than 2. That would include all of the points that I'm going to paint as red. Now we're looking for points which are either blue or red. We're looking for all of the points which satisfy either of these conditions that we have in this problem. The points do not have to satisfy both of the conditions because there is no AND connecting them. Because OR is connecting the two conditions, we need to look for points which satisfy either of these conditions. Or in other words, they're either blue or red. We see that any point we choose on the line is either blue or red. Therefore, my solution for this problem is all of the points on the real line. And if I want to use the interval notation, that's what the solution looks like. All of the points is starting from minus infinity to plus infinity. We see that the solution is determined not just by the conditions, but also by whether they're connected by an AND or by an OR. Let's now look at case C. X is greater than minus 2 and X is greater than or equal to 2. Once again, let's use the real line to see what the conditions state on the value of X. Let's say this is 0, this is 2, and this is minus 2. I am going to use the blue color to show all of the points satisfying the first condition. X is greater than minus 2. It means all of the points greater than minus 2 excluding minus 2. Now let's look at the second condition. I'm going to show the points satisfying the second condition using red. X is greater than 2 or equal to 2. So this set includes 2 and all the points on the right hand side of 2. Now these two conditions are combined using an AND. We're looking for points which are both red and blue. By looking at the real line, we see that here is our solution. All of the points after 2, including 2 itself, are point painted both red and blue. If we want to use the interval notation, the answer looks like this. 2, including 2, up to plus infinity. Let's look at case D. X is greater than minus 2 or X is greater than or equal to 2. We see that the conditions in part D are the same as the conditions in part C, but the conditions are connected using an OR rather than an AND. Once again, we show the conditions on the real line. 0, 2, and minus 2. I'm going to use the blue color to show the points satisfying the first condition. 
all the points greater than minus 2, excluding minus 2. Now I'm going to use the red color to show all of the points satisfying the second condition. All of the points greater than or equal to 2, including 2 itself. We now pay attention that these conditions are combined with an OR. We're looking for points which are either blue or red. They do not have to be necessarily both blue and red. As long as they have either of these colors, they are in our solution. Therefore, the solution to this problem is all of the points starting from minus 2, excluding minus 2, to infinity. I can show this solution using the interval notation. Start from minus 2, exclude minus 2, to infinity. Let's now look at part E. X is less than minus 2 and x is greater than 2. Let's show the conditions on the real line. I'll show the points satisfying the first condition with blue. All the points less than minus 2 excluding minus 2. I'm going to use the red color to show the points satisfying the second condition. All of the points greater than 2 excluding 2. Now I'm looking for points which satisfy both of these conditions points which are both blue and red. We can see that there are no such points in this solution. Here is how I present the solution. We draw the real line and we leave it empty because there are no solutions for this problem. There is no x which is less than minus 2 which means it's negative and it's at the same time greater than 2, which means it's positive. If I wanted to show the interval notation for this, I would simply use this notation. This means no elements, no numbers. Let's now look at part F. The conditions are the same as part E all the values of x such that they are less than minus 2 or they are greater than 2. Once again, let's use the real line to represent the conditions. I use the blue color to show all of the points less than minus 2 excluding minus 2. And I use the red pen to show all of the points greater than 2 excluding 2. Now we're looking for points which are either blue or red. Here is the solution. The solution includes all of the points starting from minus infinity up to minus 2, excluding minus 2, and starting from 2 up to infinity. Any point which I have shown satisfies either of the conditions. I can show this solution using the interval notation. 
all of the points starting from minus infinity up to minus 2, excluding minus 2, together with all of the points starting from 2 up to plus infinity.